The scales of justice are being readied to weigh the case of Egypt's ousted President Mohamed Morsi on November 4th. Mr. Morsi stands accused of inciting murder and violence during riots last year outside the presidential palace in Cairo. Other charges are pending. In a nation torn between supporters of his Muslim Brotherhood and backers of the new military-led government, the split is becoming ever more defined. Any Egyptian who has lived on Egypt's soil and drank from Egypt's Nile River and betrayed Egypt must be tried and executed. I think that these charges are all fabricated. And then there's the position of the accused himself. Veteran diplomat Abdullah al-Ashal advised Mr. Morsi during his presidency. Morsi is uh, stuck to the idea that he is still the president and you don't accept the jurisdiction of the court. Al-Ashal sees the trial as purely political. His crime was that he is a civilian and he, he dared to sit on, on the place of a military. Yet others defend Egypt's judiciary, noting that Mr. Morsi's predecessor, Old Guard President Hosni Mubarak, is also on trial. Political analyst Saad Adin Ibrahim says the judiciary is up to the task. The fact that there are trials and there are due process and that the accused, even though it is a president or a former president, will have his day in court, uh, testifies to these two aspects. But unlike Mr. Mubarak's trial, it's not clear if Mr. Morsi's will be made public. Indications are the case could be heard in secret in Cairo's notorious Torah prison. And there seems to be no quick end to Egypt's cycle of protest, overthrow and trial. At a recent rally against military leader General Abdel Fattah el-Sisi and the nation's interior minister, more cries for justice could be heard. Our demand is that anyone who has laid a hand on any other human being or any peaceful protests must be held to account. El Sisi and Ibrahim, or anyone who works for them, that's our first demand to put on trial anyone who has killed. Such talk further stokes controversy around recent leaks denied by the government that El Sisi has sought a protected position in his role as defense minister in the new draft constitution. Elizabeth Arrett, VOA News, Cairo.